Yes, and it is Rickard Rydell, the reigning British Touring Car Champion of 1998. He's been driving for Volvo for some years now, but they've got this new S40 that you're looking at, the new shape, the new construction, the new specification. It's a beautiful looking motor car, and boy, is it quick. Ricard Rydell, I had a pizza with him last night, and he's a, he looked like what he is, a Swedish florist. Very quiet, very laid back, but he comes alive when he gets in the car. I thought you ate pizza with Damien Hill. I ate pizza with anybody. <laughs> and so, over, over the line, and there he is. A good run through uh, the first corner, Murray. He looks very relaxed in the car. I don't know why he's looking in the rear view mirror. There's no one there, but just force of habit. Drivers do that as they go up through the gears, just checking on their competitors. So that's a reflex action. What sort of and things would they do to the car before the top ten run, Alan? Well, certainly they'll only have a couple of liters of uh, petrol. They will have cho the driver will have chosen the tires that he had for just kissed in one laps to be exactly happy with them. They won't go out there with absolutely green tires. And of course the engine will uh, have perhaps uh, a few little goodies done to it that the engineers won't even tell us about. Ne next time we look inside the car, look for that sequential gear change. The vertical gear shift lever, which is sticking up out of the floor, he just nudges it forward to change down, pulls it back to change up. Smooth, effortless, and look at that! This is a tremendous lap! It looks visually much quicker than anything we've had before, and the split is going to tell us six tenths of a second faster again! He's absolutely flying here, look at that, again on the curb, on the exit of the dipper, that meant he was really happy with his momentum, had the car under full control, watch this right up against the rock wall there, over the white line, now fading it through tire power again, over the white line, taking his chances with the, with the wall, with the fence, some fence, and they're looking so calm and relaxed coming down Conrad. Yeah, Alan, you and I were gasping at his driving the sport when we saw the warm-up because he was almost hitting the wall. Statistician Nigel Greenway tells me that when he did the sub-16 this morning, he never got under 12 seconds at the top. So he's going faster than that already. So is this going to be the fastest lap we've had? When he did the warm-up, it was 2 minutes 15.85, the fastest lap we've had for the top 10 so far. Steve, it's, it's Steve Richards, 2 minutes 16.85. Four. This flying. is going to be it. This is definitely going to be it. Four and nine. what a lap. One and a half nine. seconds faster. Two minutes, 14.9. Surely, surely that is not going to be beaten.